So my name is Ivan, and today I will uh, talk about how and why you should be active in your local Java user group. Uh, I come from Java user group Munich, and these are my experiences in trying to improve uh, Jug Munich for the last about a year. Uh, a lot of developers uh, attend Jug meetings, but they do it passively. They come, <coughs> sit down, listen to a talk, never ask questions, after the talk is done, they just quietly go home, and that's it. So while they get something out of it, yeah, they hear the talk, uh, they do not get even the 10% the, the of what they could get out of the jug. And uh, how they could get uh, much more of it by being active. So one of the first things to do if you want to be more active is just offer your help to the jug leader. Uh, I know it sounds like silly, but yeah, please do not do anything on your own without consulting to jug leader first. Uh, and I suggest that whichever improvements you want to do, uh, you just do it in three uh, simple steps. So introduce one new thing, improvement. Uh, Start small, don't try to make it like perfect from the start, uh, because <laughs> you won't do it perfect, yeah? Uh, but then iteratively make it better, and when you are satisfied with how this one thing worked out, then move to the next one. Uh, what will be the result of this? Uh, over time you will build trust uh, between you and your jug leader. Uh, so even though you may know each other, uh, you probably do not know how the, the cooperation between you two will work out. So uh, with everything that you do, you commit to do it, and you do it, uh, the trust will grow between two of you. So you will over time become uh, yeah, associates, friends, business partners uh, in improving your job together. One of the first things I did in uh, Jug Munich was to contact potential speakers. Uh, so good speaker is hard to find. Uh, so where could you uh, find some speakers? Start with colleagues or friends. Uh, maybe you have heard that one of your colleagues uh, gave a talk locally at uh, your company. He's an ideal candidate to uh, push him a bit to speak at uh, your local Jug. Then other members of the jug are also uh, good candidates. Uh, also, try on social networks, Twitter, X, Mastodon, whatever. Uh, if you were, were engaged in some interesting conversation, just ask this person directly, hey, do you want to speak at my jug? Authors of books, libraries, open source projects, uh, they are all more than willing uh, to speak. You just have to ask them. Uh, what you will get from this, uh, very quickly, you will get to know a lot of interesting people from the industry. Java champions, book authors, library authors, international speakers. Uh, you will just uh, get acquaintances or friends with them. And also, your jug will get uh, nice speakers and nice topics. Then, next thing I also did was to record and publish meetups. So uh, I saw that we do not, or we did not offer any recordings. So if you miss one talk, sorry, that was it. Yeah, maybe next time you will have more luck. Uh, so I decided to record them so our JUG members could uh, see those talks. And the best way I found was to record speaker video, speaker audio, and slides separately and then to uh, do editing and combine them all in one video. For that, uh, if you want to do that, uh, you'll probably need to buy some equipment. For example, I bought microphone, sound recorder, cables to connect all of this uh, video capture card, uh, HDMI splitter, whatnot. So it will take some money uh, to do that. It will also take some time to learn video editing if you don't know it already. Uh, but I promise that results uh, would be really, really good. Uh, 
your Jack members and you would have the, the videos to watch later. Uh, the benefit for the Jack would be obvious. All of a sudden, more visibility on social networks. You could attract more speakers. You could just uh, showcase, hey, we had this talk, this talk, this talk. So speakers would be more uh, than happy to, to join you when they see what they can expect from you. For you personally, you will get front row seat for every meetup. Uh, you will get to know all the speakers. Uh, you will get public recognition from your JAG leader. Uh, and you get to watch all the talks at least once, uh, once more when you edit the videos. So how it looks like? Uh, yeah, you can see top left, the, the biggest uh, part is the actually slides. Uh, bottom right is the speaker video. And the rest, I just put some graphics, so our website and Java logo. Uh, so I think that uh, for me, this result is really satisfactory. Another thing you could do to improve your jug is to manage social media channels uh, for it. By that, I mean YouTube channel, X, Mastodon, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever you were or wherever you want to be present. Uh, how you could do that? Of course, announce uh, upcoming talks, maybe two weeks in advance, then one week in advance, one day, so that people uh, are reminded that there would be nice, interesting talk. Uh, after the talk, thank speaker for coming. Uh, then also announce recording of a talk. Uh, when it's published on, say, YouTube or whatever video site uh, you would publish it. Also, very interesting uh, thing. Uh, I started announcing all of that in internally uh, in my company over the Slack. And one interesting effect uh, came by that after some time, people started approaching me saying, hey, I have some problem with some new feature in Java. Can you help me? Like, oh, OK, I can try. Then another colleague did the same. I was like, hey, guys, wh why do you all of a sudden come to me? Ah, oh, you're following all the Java news. You're on the cutting edge with all these speakers and uh, JAG meetups and everything. I thought, hmm, interesting. So as a side effect, you will become more visible within your company. For your uh, fellow JAG members, of course, they will have more information about the upcoming uh, talks about the recordings and stuff, more visibility for your jug, uh, and again, uh, another chance for you to, to connect more with, uh, with the speakers and to attract new ones. Also, yeah, as much as you promote them, they will promote you at the same time. Usually they will like your tweets, retweet them, uh, post on their own that they uh, had a nice evening at uh, your local jug. So a lot of benefits on, on both sides there. A few examples how it looks like. Uh, yeah, on these pictures are Oracle Vice President, founder of Java Champions program, uh, at least five Java Champions, book authors, international speakers, course authors, and me. <laughs> so they, as I said, they really helped me. I helped them a bit. Uh, do it, be active on, on social media. Uh, when you promote your jug and, and the talks, uh, it will pay out for sure. Another point, uh, maybe manage or improve uh, your jug website. Uh, I know that it's, websites are not in fashion these days, like everybody lives on social media, uh, but they have their, their place. Uh, they are permanent. Social media information is very ephemeral, so it comes and goes very quickly. Uh, and website is yours. You can put whatever you want there in whichever layout, whichever content, so nobody can force you to... Uh, or delete some of your content or moderate it or whatever. Yeah, basically put some information there, announce meetups, uh, put some links for downloading, downloading slides, code examples, 
uh, you can make your site faster, more mobile friendly. Basically, you can do whatever you want there. Then, as a last big point, uh, offer some venue, drinks, snacks. Uh, we had a problem in Jug Munich that uh, we pay a lot for just uh, renting room and drinks for, for a single meetup. Uh, but it's in the city center, so luckily we have a sponsor that covers the cost. If that's not case for your Jug, which might not be, uh, you can ask in your company to, to organize a meetup there. It will give some visibility to the company, uh, maybe chance that some developers are interested or uh, get to know your company, that they may might be want to work there. Uh, and for the jug, of course, it's the benefit that yeah, you don't have to pay that much money. Usually companies will provide as a Market, for marketing purposes, they will provide venue, drink, snacks for, for Jug Meetup. Uh, also, uh, another chance for you to have some cross-team influence in your company. Uh, if you find supporting manager, team lead, CTO, whoever, uh, he will see that as your initiative to improve something, to give knowledge to your colleagues. Uh, and all in all, it will be really positive also for you for your status within your company. So these were just my suggestions uh, from my experience in Jack Munich, but whatever you decide to do, I can guarantee you will see the most unexpected benefits from your uh, engagement in the Jug. Uh, apart from all of that that I mentioned, you may even become international speaker or book author and with that said, if you want to learn more about this or find out some more details, uh, you are very welcome to download the ebook I have written on the same topic from the link above or simply scan the, the QR code. With that being said, I thank you for your attention and improve your jug and your jug will improve you. Thank you. Yes, Hannes. <laughs> Interesting question. Uh, it's just a thank, thank you note for the guy that uh, created this template for this presentation. Hi, uh, thank you for this uh, talk. Just a simple question. You, um, uh, with some friends, um, we um, planify to uh, to create local jug at Algeria, for example. Uh, you can help us if uh, we ask you for some session. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, you may contact me on uh, these accounts: Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, my website. I will help you with whatever I can. Okay, I will contact you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, if somebody wants to speak at Jug Munich, please also contact me. Uh, yesterday, I already found two new speakers for next year, so you might be the third. Aisha, yes, third. <laughs> Maybe fourth. Contact me later. Okay, there are no more questions. Thank you once again. <laughs>